today we are taking a look at the CGI announcement trailer from 3 months ago and compare it to the newly released actual gameplay footage. Have they promised us too much or can we see all of the features in the actual game which is released at October 24th? Let's find out. We are starting off with a shot of water pipes and electricity that lead to a road. Underneath the road icons in the user interface we can also spot some pipes. This is an awesome addition that power and water is distributed via roads. There is almost nothing more annoying in CS1 than to put power lines everywhere, because electricity could only jump from building to building. The same applies to water pipes. Next we see a desert environment. We can't tell much about that one, because we've only seen a temperate map theme for now. With 441 tiles, that means 21 by 21. The maps are really big though, and could allow for a lot of different biomes on the same map maybe. We will see. Here we can see a pretty American highway. We know that we can switch between American and a European theme at the release. Maybe there will be added some more in the future, for example one from Japan or South America. The icons for the themes are in the UI, so I wonder if we can switch them back and forth right inside the game itself. The buildings and roads look through and through American though, but the highways don't have any yellow stripes. Very important detail, I know. Bridge construction doesn't sadly work like that. Instead we are able to drag a bridge again and it's immediately built up. Personally, I have nothing against that, to be honest. But it seems like the bridge building mechanic isn't hopefully attached to the terrain anymore. That sucks so hard in CS1 and makes building bridges a real pain. Road building has definitely a lot of great features and that is probably the thing I'm most excited about. We are having road tools like parallel mode, finer elevation tuning, various snapping tools and precision engineering. Also it seems like we are looking at a roundabout builder and parking spaces in the vanilla game. We can finally build the American dream right off the start. God bless America! Yes, the roundabout, my favorite shot of the trailer. We see a lot of little roundabouts, but unfortunately they don't look as cool as this one. And it's also confirmed that buildings can't build on corners like that. Instead we have a tile based building spawn system again, that even has tile cutouts at the roundabouts. Very sad. The streets look very detailed here, but I don't think they will have that much detail in the actual game. It's still a CGI trailer after all. In the background there is a really cool construction animation. Something like this doesn't seem to exist anymore. In every shot of the gameplay trailer the buildings just spawn within a second. I don't know yet if I find that cool or bad. Weather and seasons will definitely exist in the game, but if it will look that awesome with the whole mirroring and stuff, I doubt it. We haven't seen any ships yet. But here in the background you can see harbor cranes at least. They look quite cool and the harbor seems to have a much more reasonable size with a huge container yard attached to it, like in real life. I also hope harbors will act in a more realistic manner than in CS1. But probably we have to wait for the bridges and ports add-on, which will be released in Q2 in 2024. So be prepared to spend a lot of money on extra DLC content again. Here we see skyscrapers, but also a lot of mid and low density buildings too. For residential at least, there are 6 different zoning types. And let me tell you, I'm extremely hyped for that. At first we have single family homes, then some sort of row houses, we also see a lot of them in the trailer and then follow low-rise apartment blocks. Bro, I just realized, when you look closer, the fourth one is a mixed-use building with commercial shops at the bottom and apartments at the top. Like what the fuck, this is so awesome! Then we have modern wall-to-wall -wall apartments, I guess, and also residential high-rises at the end. In the next few shots we can't see anything more other than I told you before, but everything looks extremely crisp and nice. For me, the gameplay trailer buildings have more of a SimCity 2013 vibe to it, and the reflections on the glass skyscrapers don't look as cool. Also I hope they will still improve the lighting of the buildings at night, because now 
how some buildings look like a huge light bulb. The water also looks a bit low res compared to the CGI trailer. But it's okay, as long as it doesn't behave like jelly pudding, I'm fine with it, I guess. There are some more details left in the gameplay trailer, but stuff like this was already featured by a ton of other creators. Over the next weeks we will learn a lot more about the game, because they will release videos to every topic each week on Monday until the release. I just hope my PC can handle the game, but to be sure, consider to support me on Patreon, so I can buy a new gaming PC to make the best videos possible for CS2. Thanks for watching.